We are almost a week into September now, Hazard Gang. Time is moving really fast, and since the Naturalist update for Red Dead Online released, there's been so much, more than ever really, on Intel, news, and leaks side of Red Dead Online. We have so much to look forward to if Rockstar ends up implementing even just half of the leaked Halloween celebration content, with the Halloween Pass, ghost animals, peyote plants, and more being basically all but confirmed by Rockstar at this point. I mean, it's all in the game files for us to see. But what else after that? The Naturalist, while I've been having a ton of fun with that role, more so because it's helped me in my multitasking role grind a lot more than I would have expected, maybe the new role wasn't so special for some other players. Well, the good news is, is that there's more to come in 2020, barring any other massive delays like what happened earlier this year. And finally, an Outlaws and Lawmen DLC really seems like it's on the chopping block for this year as well. We will get into what that content is, what it could be, and everything we know in just a moment. So if you enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button with your notifications turned on. Let's kind of work our way backwards here. Let's start with the most recent information coming directly from Rockstar and get that out of the way first, and then explore what they have said earlier this year and even in 2019 on content of what we can expect, but stuff, of course, they still have yet to implement. So on July 24th of 2020, when Red Dead Online's Naturalist update and GTA Online Summer update were announced and revealed, Rockstar took their newswire a step further to hint and tease at major upcoming updates for both games. They didn't mention anything hyper-specific in this post or confirm outright what to expect, but we have other interviews of them for that. They had to say the following in their July 24th newswire. Later this year, players can expect more big updates for both games, including some exciting new extensions and augmentations to an existing role in Red Dead Online, and the biggest ever update for GTA Online, featuring our latest take on heists in an entirely new location. Obviously, for GTA fans and players, that should really excite you, knowing the biggest update ever for the game is on the way, but don't let that be a letdown for you, Red Dead players. New extensions and augmentations for an existing role is good news for us as well, and just because it may not be an entirely new role, or you know, we could still have one included. Let's take a look at what roles have been evolved so far. When Red Dead Online's Frontier Pursuits update released September 10th of 2019, Rockstar added three new roles to the game for the first time ever, kicking off this whole new DLC role kind of trend we've seen as opposed to differently structured sorts of updates like GTA Online gets. We got the Bounty Hunter role, Trader role, and the Collector role, and of course, Moonshiner in December of 2019 and now the Naturalist at the end of July of this year. Rockstar has also mentioned in the past that not only are new roles on the plate for Red Dead Online in the future, but of course, further additions to the roles themselves, and it seems like that's what's upcoming just based off the little excerpt here alone. But we need to look at this in the broader context of what's actually happening in-game and how it can evolve from this point here. The Moonshiner role was confirmed by Rockstar in an interview with Polygon in February of 2020 to be an extension of the trader role. For starters, to even purchase the Moonshiner role, you have to be a level 5 trader. And Rockstar, and more specifically Katie Pika, who is a lead online production associate from Rockstar, regarded the Moonshiner update as such. We love to keep adding new collections and additional variety to collector gameplay, eventually adding the next step, much in the same way that Moonshiner is the evolution of the trader. Speaking of how she discusses collector extensions, while we have not seen Rockstar's official stance on the Naturalist and whether it's a direct extension of the collector, I think it is, because at the end of the day, with the trader role and the moonshiner role, you produce goods, whether it's cured animal pelts or moonshine, and then you sell it and deliver it to a destination and you get paid. With the collector role and the naturalist, you're selling collections of some sort either way. With the collector role, it's literally you collecting and obtaining items across the game world, with, and with the naturalist, they took it a step further and allowed you to choose your path. You could use the animals to contribute to your trader materials, or sell the carcasses and pelts to Gus, your trapper contact, or sedate and sample these animals and fill up your animal field guide with stamps for all the animals, and you eventually sell or basically trade in those collections of stamps for money from Harriet. Sedating and sampling Sampling animals is of course the real way to rank up the naturalist role and probably what Rockstar focused on as being the actual role itself, with Gus and his garment sets and of course the cosmetic side to encourage microtransaction purchases to obtain the animal outfits, and then of course how the naturalist can help your trader role gameplay become more effective and efficient. Before roles were even released in Red Dead Online, Rockstar said they wanted the gameplay between them to be seamless and for a player to not feel locked into one role at a time, and while you may not necessarily be able to be on a bounty hunting mission and deliver 
a moonshine wagon at the exact same moment in time, you can in fact go bounty hunting and while you're on that mission, hunt the legendary animal for the naturalist and collect a few items for collector and gather herbs and ingredients for the moonshine roll, for example. So it's not a surprise to see the naturalist update take all the roles into account, but back to what I was saying here, the naturalist functions more like the collector than any other role, whether it's trader, bounty hunter, or moonshiner. And we have had extensions now to trader and collector with that being said. The only one left is the bounty hunter role, and that's where things get very interesting. During an interview with gaming news outlet VG247, Rockstar has hinted at a lawman and outlaw update, a photography update, and more. As you all know, we just received an advanced camera and a naturalist role partially revolving around taking photos of all sorts of animals in Reddit Online, and this VG247 article was the first to mention Rockstar's express interest in bringing photography content into the game. Then, after the Moonshiner update released and we passed into the new year, we had a leak of the naturalist role at the beginning of January. Folks, including myself, weren't too excited or really happy with the idea that that was the next update, but it is indeed what we got, and after all, I think the naturalist update turned out to be a little bit more than just take a photo of a plant or animal. We didn't have the legendary animal leaks or the new dynamic events and random encounters leaks or intel to go off of at the time either. Those came in April of this year. And also with the naturalist update came the first time in Red Dead Online we've seen two different sides of a role. With the naturalist, you interact with Harriet to track legendary animals and sedate and sample them and then rescue other animals from illegal poachers. And with Gus, you bring animal carcasses or pelts to him in exchange for money or trapper style clothing and other rewards like trinkets. They are directly in competition with one another as you cannot sedate and sample and then skin the same animal to take advantage of both Harriet and Gus. And Rockstar seems to be interested in this same two-path progression system for the Bounty Hunter with their role extensions and augmentations later this year. Utilizing the Bounty System, the Honor System, and tying that in with our roles in the future where the player can be a villain, could join a gang, you know, Butchard says, or decide to take the side of a lawman if we did something like that. When planning future roles and other content, we think about the world in key areas. Exploration, capitalism, wildlife, Life and nature, pastimes, and bounty hunting style activities, which are an offshoot of the law, depending on how honorable you play, Pika adds. We love the idea that at some point a highly ranked bounty hunter could become a lawman. So far, the roles have touched on a few of those ideas, but there's a lot more to do. That's a lot to take in right there. Rockstar knows we, the Red Dead Online players, want both sides of this. Players want to be able to rob trains, stagecoaches, homes, people, etc. in free roam and in missions to satisfy our craving of being an outlaw just like in the story mode, but we also want to maybe be able to do more errands for the US government or towns of the frontier and go on bounty hunts or even taking it a step further from that, become a lawman, a sheriff, or a marshal. And besides the silliness of jumping back and forth over a moral fence like that, a bounty hunter extension with the lawman and outlaw paths of progression seem to be in the cards for us. On a moral level, they are good and bad, just like Harriet and Gus are depicted to be in the game, and the same formula applies here. It's really just up to Rockstar at this point to finalize what they've had in mind now for over a year, as next week marks one full year since Frontier Pursuits released, which also was the reason for this VG247 interview in the first place. It was promotional material released after the Frontier Pursuits update dropped, and we should probably keep an eye out for one on the Naturalist update soon because I'm sure more new intel will be at the very least hinted or teased in there. That's our show for today though, Hazard Gang. We're gonna wrap up the video right there. I was gonna ask if you'd like to see a Lawman or Outlaws themed update for Red Dead Online, but I'm pretty sure the answer is gonna be an overwhelming yes, so instead I will ask for your specific thoughts and requests. If you were in charge, how do you present a Lawman and Outlaws style update to Red Dead Online player base? What are some things you think are non-negotiables or absolutely necessary for the content? And what are some of the ideas you have for the role structure and progression? I'm just really curious to see what the community thinks of this content, since it's obvious most players want content additions like this. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it, and of course, if you are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things Red Dead Online, Red Dead Redemption 2, and even Rockstar Games as a whole. We'll be sure to keep you guys up to date with updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you guys also want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube. I practically live on all three of those websites, and you can feel free to strike up a conversation conversation or even ask me a question. Whatever it may be though, you can follow me at Hazardous HDTV and all of my social media links, including my Discord, can be found in the description down below. With that said, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead online video. Adios amigos.